everybody, it's Kara. I am starting again with videos. Uh, this here is going to be a go-to look of mine. Uh, so if you were interested, just keep on watching. Okay, the primer today that I am going to use is Too Faced Hangover. End of the semester. Ending it strong. Just finished my last final yesterday. So that is exciting, relieving, and really nice to have a break. Especially Christmas is around the corner, so that's a plus. All right, the foundation that I'm going to use today is Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Almond. I like to do one section at a time with my face. Um, I'm just finding it a little bit easier and um, more coverage. And that is just because I feel like when you do one section at a time, um, you're focused in that one area. So you're, it's just a little bit easier. Um, to catch blemishes. I mean, personally, for me, everybody's different. That's okay. It has been a while since I have posted a makeup video. Um, I've had a lot going on this year, um, for starters. Uh, I spent most of my year pregnant uh, so I do have a newborn and a lot of school and honestly I have really overbooked myself with school just trying to finish it and get it done but I'm not complaining it's just a lot I'm sure a lot of you have something as well and let's just face it COVID does not help anything or that there's like little areas that I didn't miss with blemish. Pretty much running out. Yeah, it's like barely anything. Okay. Everyone does their concealer differently. I personally like to do it in the inner underneath the eye in the inner corner just because I feel like that's where the tired eye starts and then I kind of like to like pull it back on the end of it right there when it goes over my cheekbone or really have cheekbones <laughs> I'm too much cheek but hey that's all right okay like <laughs> all right I'm gonna use the derma blend uh, translucent powder and what I like to do is I like to grab a beauty blender and I'll kind of dip it on the end of it, just like that. And then I'll just kind of pat it down. Just like that. I just feel like I get so much better coverage like this. I do have a brush that I use as well at the moment. I am really feeling the beauty blender lately, so we're going to do that. Put some powder on. I'm not going to put a lot just because my skin is really dry and the setting powder tends to make it drier and then you'll kind of see the foundation crack. That's not pretty. I don't like that, so we're not going to put a lot. Oh, and I am using the Morphe powder. I think it's natural. No, it's translucent setting powder. I'm just gonna pat it on the areas that I get really oily around. That's gonna be it. It's really warm. Just kind of fits my skin color do when I in a hurry is I put blush on my eyelid 
that's just because I don't really do a lot of found, um, foundation, um, eye makeup because I don't have a lot of time. Um, so the blush kind of helps bring in my face together, I guess. And then we're going to do some quick contouring, not major, like, get into it contouring. But I'm going to grab my Hula Benefit, uh, okay. bronzer. Next step I'm going to do is highlight really quick. And I am going to grab the Jaclyn Hill Loose Highlights. Oh, this has a color. Extra. Need more of this stuff, too. I am in love with her highlighter. It is, it's my, it's my go-to highlighter. And I'm like running out, so I need more. So, if, I'm watching my baby on the monitor and she's like in and out waking up. Like she just, she wants to wake up, but she doesn't want to wake up. And then it's, it's pretty darn cute. So you'll hear a little bit of squeals on the side. Yeah, that's her and my monitor. <laughs> All right, let's do a quick brow. Now, I haven't been putting a lot of product on my brows. This video looking for a brow tutorial or look. You should probably try my other videos um, because this one I'm just gonna make it look like I have a little bit of brow, but I'm not gonna really go into depth with it. I had my hair. I was just feeling red this end of this year. My hubby really likes it. I'm basically just gonna add an end to my eyebrows because my eyebrows are pretty short. They're not long. Um, they're pretty bushy. And I just kinda let it do its own thing sometimes. <laughs> Eyeshadow, we're not gonna get into too much eye makeup. I personally love doing my eyes. Um, but this will be my go-to look, so. We are gonna grab the Naked Urban Decay Wild West palette. And I'm gonna grab the color Nudie. It's what it says, yeah, Nudie. I'm gonna grab a fluffy brush, like that. I don't know if you see it. Okay. I'm gonna like this color because it is more of a soft, natural uh, brown. You can kind of see the blush too with it, so it doesn't kind of like clash with the blush. It kind of works with it. All right, I'm gonna put that brush away just because it is a little too much. I'm gonna grab this one, and then I'm gonna grab the color Loreto, Loreto, Loreto. If I say something silly. Forgive me, I did just finish finals this week, so my brain is fried. And let me know if you are right there with me. It'd be nice to know someone's out there who's going through what I'm going through today. See, this isn't, this isn't a lot. It's a little bit more of a natural look and it's just quicker because um, I can't really mess up with it you know I don't want to do something so complicated that involves a lot that's gonna end up me just kind of fixing if I do mess up because it's just gonna add more time so I'm gonna do something that's just really quick so I'm gonna grab that color whiskey and I'm gonna grab like a smoke out brush like that And I'm just gonna like put this on the ends. The corner end right there. And that's just to give the eye a little bit more definition. I am somebody that likes my eyes to look big. I'm gonna grab that whiskey color and I'm gonna put it underneath my eye. That is it for eyeshadow. So what I'm gonna do now is do eyeliner. And I'm gonna grab the Lauren Conrad, the eyeliner. It is in the color Onyx, by the way.
and I am not going to false out. I am not going to false eyelashes today. While my eyeliner uh, dries, I'm going to do my lips really quick. It's a lip liner, and it is Ulta Beauty, and it's the color Flesh. I really like to put that in to find my lip because um, I feel like sometimes my lip kind of just fades with my foundation. So I really like to outline it. Um, next, I am gonna grab this Ulta Beauty uh, lip gloss and it's the color Mocha. And I love this lip gloss because um, it is kind of gives my lips a shade, um, but a lot of shimmer and it's not it's not overwhelming okay all right I am gonna try to put some mascara on but before that I'm gonna use this eyelash curler one thing I hate and always forget when I curl my eyelashes is that I don't ever do it before my eyeliner I do it after my eyeliner and it tends to take some eyeliner off like towards the um, <clears throat> waterline and it's just ooh, every time I was just gotta retouch it and I always tell myself you gotta curl your eyelashes before your eyeliner and I never never remember it just it never sticks. Right, let me grab some mascara. And I like to use more than one mascara. Um, three to be specific. Don't judge me. Uh, I'm gonna grab Bobbi Brown mascara. That is another one I am running out of. My bag is still napping. I love being a mom. I thought I was gonna go crazy. I mean, she's still a newborn, so <laughs> might get back to you on that, but uh, she is my everything. Oh my goodness. She has flipped my world upside down in a good way. I totally forgot to tell you what mascara this was, um, but it is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Oh, I love this mascara. So that's one thing that you love about false eyelashes, is that when you're in camera, you will see them because they're so bold. And mascara, it's like, I gotta get really in for you to see it. But yeah, I love this mascara. And next, I'm gonna grab um, Beauty For Real mascara. And it's just black. And I love this one for my bottom eyelashes. So if you can see, it is really tiny. And it's easy to work with when you like go in the inner corners like this. Perfecto. This is pretty much my go-to look. What I will do, and will normally do, um, is add just a little bit more highlight. I'm gonna grab that same highlighter from Jaclyn Hill. And I'm gonna grab an inner corner brush, which are probably my favorite brushes. Yes. Yes. And last but not least, 
I will be putting on setting spray and that is going to be Urban Decay's All Nighter, which is my favorite. It's not like MAC 2, but so lately this is, lately, it's been a while that this has been my go-to setting spray. But yeah, that is the look. This is my go-to in a hurry look. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what's going on in your life. I mean, we all have things that are going on, especially with this COVID thing. Um, but yeah, what's going on? Uh, how does the new year look for you? Any plans? Christmas is coming up. Are you done Christmas shopping? Um, there's, yeah, there's been so much that happened to me this year with school and, uh, baby. Um, being a new mom has been life-changing for me. Uh, so much to learn, uh, not what I expected. Like, I thought I knew, um, what I was getting into and what was happening. And then I realized, you know, there is just so much more. <laughs> And that's not a bad thing. I mean, I'm sure everybody goes through it. Um, I know with me, uh, I always knew that moms love their kids endlessly and unconditionally. And it would just come natural. And I thought I loved her so much. And then when she came, I realized, oh my gosh. It was like the doctor had cut my heart out my chest and put it on put it like put gave it to me to hold and then I realized oh my gosh like this is my baby no one is taking my baby away <laughs> and it's a beautiful thing it is <clears throat> excuse me it is really a beautiful thing and life-changing and I I am all for it um so hey I mean if you guys have any of your opinions or experiences with becoming a mom, feel free to share. I mean, I I would love to share and I would love to like hear from you guys. Um, yeah, she is around the, she just turned two months actually. Um, so yeah, still learning, but in, in love with every moment of it, so. Yeah, I hope you guys have a good one and uh, let me know what you think. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button to stay tuned on more videos. Do hope to be more consistent with it and we'll see how that goes with the newborn and school because I am in full-time school. Um, I'll have less classes next year. We will see how that goes. Thanks for watching.